and the last video we learn about the local variables in this video we go to talk about the global variables that what are the global variables we have access in our smart contract so we can utilize that okay so the same thing we have to do let me give this comment local variable we're going to build a contract we'll call it local variable and here i'm going to define all the variables which we have access as a global variable okay so let's start with the first one i'll say address public and honor okay so let's start with the honor first so here i'm going to build the constructor and this honor will get updated so i'll say honor equal to message dot sender so what i'm doing here message dot sender is a global variable and how it's work whoever will deploy this contract became the message dot sender so we are saying that whoever is deploying the contract take the account address and assign it to the honor that's what we are doing okay so let me show you practically let's come here and let me remove this one simply click on this deploy and let's call it honor so this is the account which i have used to deploy the contract simply copy and simply paste here okay and let's come up here here i have my first account which i'm connected with and i'm going to paste it here okay you will find both the accounts are same okay okay so in this way you can easily able to access the message dot sender means the one who deployed the contract okay so this is the one global variable we have now let's talk about all the other global variables we have in our smart contract in solidity okay so we have this block ch hash we have difficulty we have gas limit number timestamp value now on and we have this origin gas price call data first for okay so these are the couple of variables i have taken so i can show you that what are the global variables we have access to okay so these are the variables i have taken now let's try to access okay so here we're going to do in the contract you can use it in the in the functions but here i want to get it in the contract okay uh, let's deploy the contract and let's try to have a look so if we deploy the contract you can see here we got that and here you can see we have empty nothing in there okay all of these fields have empty okay nothing in there and now we have to simply update all these data in our constructor okay so let's do it very quickly so here we have the block coinbase okay we have difficulty we have gas limit num timestamp gas price origin data sign value and we now okay so all the data is available in this block so whenever any transaction will happen it will contain all this metadata okay so we can easily able to access the origin the data sign timestamp number gas limit difficulty coin base okay so now what i can do let's try to deploy the contract okay? you can see we have all this and you're going to use a lot whenever you want to build any logic about the smart contract okay just imagine that you have to build a contract which can take a token from the user and it will keep it for a week or for two weeks and then it will send back to the user with some extra reward okay so if you want to build that kind of that kind of smart contract then these are the property you need a lot okay so we have this now let's try to deploy the contract click on this deploy and here we got it and now if you click on any one of these you will have access to the data so this is the call data okay right now we don't have any data that's why it says this way okay if we click on this difficulty this is the difficulty we got it if you call this first four okay it will give you the first four of the buy data okay so that's why you can see in that way if you click on this gas limit gas price block now zero number okay so this is number 21 number block okay origin this is the honor both origin and honor has the same address okay timestamp we have and we have value to zero okay so hope things are making sense to all of you and you guys know that how many data how many global variables do we have access in our contract and how we can utilize it okay so these are the important things you have to keep in mind when you build your smart contract so hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any question in doubt do leave in the comment section and that's the only thing i want to cover about this global variable that how you can access in your smart contract with that said let's move to the next video